OnLink supports integration with the SAP success factors through webhooks. So the webhook is configured on success factors such that whenever a new hire is entered or an employee is terminated, success factors can send a notification to OnLink. Here's how you set it up. First, go to the OnLink web app and access webhooks link. Then create a new webhook. I have created one here. Let me edit it. You can give it a name and in the system, we support a bunch of systems, but you can select success factors. Then select what type of issue or request type you want to create in Jira whenever success factors sends that notification. So here I have selected request type and employee onboarding as the request type. Then you set up a bunch of attributes. This is where you map which fields from success factors go into which of the custom fields in Jira. Any number of fields can be added here and any field coming from the API from success factors can be included. OnLink provides a webhook URL. You can copy this and go to the SAP success factors configuration page to configure this webhook. We have given the instructions in our documentation for OnLink where you use the intelligent services component of success factors to set up this notification. There are a few steps to follow, but the main one is in the last step here where you need to provide the REST API URL and the authentication where we success factor supports a basic authentication with username and password. All these three attributes are available within the OnLink app. Like I said, the URL is here and the username password you can configure such that this information is set up within success factors to enable your webhook notifications. Once this is complete, all you need to do is for testing purposes, complete a hire in success factors and you will see that the notification calls the webhook and creates a Jira issue like this. So this is the issue that uh, we created based on the notification from success factors. It picks up the right request type and all the mapping attributes that you provided in the webhook configuration are used to create this Jira issue.